Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, what is extrasensory perception and the nine major types explained. So I will take all of you to one website, psychicsfortoday.com. I went to this website and I find it very useful actually. So I'm going to share the screen with you all. Please um, note the points and you can also note the link. Uh, I will, anyhow, uh, although I, I'm going to paste the link in my description box, so it won't be a problem for you, I guess. So let's start up today's video. So topic is what is extrasensory perception? This is a very good website, psychicsfortoday.com. So we'll uh, discuss resources from this website tomorrow. So uh, this article is originally by Elisa Monroe. So what is extrasensory perception? Extrasensory perception, also referred to as a sixth sense, is the ability to perceive information without using the five physical senses. So it is called ESP in short. These ESPs can be um, in many forms like precognition, clairvoyance, telepathy. That day I uh, made a tutorial video, online video training on uh, remote viewing and I'm going to make upload my next part two video about remote viewing so remote viewing is actually the modern term for clairvoyance so it's a extra sensory perception or esp right so there are actually many types of esp those uh, maybe some some kinds of esps are like that that they are they have not been termed yet they uh, many souls many people have already those esps but they don't know that is it's an extrasensory perception right so there are many more i think uncountable but mainly major types of esps are precognition what is precognition the ability to see the future retrocognition the ability to see into the distant past clairvoyance the ability to see events without being physically present mediumship the ability to communicate with spiritual world and talk to the deceased clear sentience the ability to feel the emotion of others clear audience the ability to receive messages and information through psychic hearing Telepathy, the ability to read the minds of others and know what they are thinking. Actually, one point I think uh, it, it, it is missed. That telepathy also means to communicate with a person or with a soul uh, who also can communicate. So uh, this communication happens in the non-physical manner. Means the person uh, you are having a telepathic connections is afar from you away from you clear alliance or clear aliens the ability to get psychic impressions from the sense of smell sometimes what happens whenever you get information about uh, any incident or any date or any event suddenly if on that particular day orange was being eaten or there was orange uh, in uh, in that particular event suddenly you will feel like that you are having an orange so it happens with me at many times but in practical field or in reality in your real life there is no trace of any oranges in your life at that moment but that is why it is called clear alliance or clear alliance Clear gustens. The paranormal ability to taste a substance without putting it in mouth. So it is close to clear aliens, 
the thing is that in clear aliens you could have many other things with it but in clear gustens it's the ability to taste a substance without putting it in mouth so suppose it couldn't be a telepathy right so uh, suppose you cannot eat something that is placed in the dining table of a different person's house like you are going to visit some person's house and in their in that particular house they have a dining table and some foods are there some dishes are there that you are not allowed to eat or you are not invited to eat those foods till that moment or yet to come the moment of uh, having that food is yet to come so what happens in that case you will feel the taste of the distant substance without even tasting it sometimes or other things might happen you can actually see the thing and after that automatically you get the taste in your mouth sometimes without being seen without seeing also you can get the taste so it is clear gustens this nine types of esp explain precognition precognition refers to the ability to see the future though the scientific community generally rejects precognition because science cannot you know touch those things and those things uh, that it cannot touch it uh, uh, calls or it termed it terms as pseudo science which science has no capability to touch they name it as pseudo science but we don't care cause it exists we know because of the lack of demonstration okay they rejects the idea of precognition many scientific explanations are available to explain it experiments conducted by the parapsychology laboratory at duke university show the human mind has a habit along with the ability to subconsciously predict an outcome of events by judging current circumstances such predictions if they later become true are then related to precognition nostradamus is one of the most famous people known from for his predictions as he has reportedly predicted several events throughout history that occurred long after his death so friends uh, this uh, event corona events or whatever uh, which actually triggered after the 26 december 2019 solar eclipse of seven planets Nostradamus has uh, predicted about this even also retrogni ret retrocognition retrocognition refers to the ability to see in the distant distant past it can uh, it can be as simple as recognizing a place or a person or somehow knowing what happened in a certain situation one had nothing to do with the time it took place when someone experiences deja vu it could be a simple instance of retro retrocognition someone who has retrocognition abilities could possibly to you in the present about what it was like to be a passenger on the titanic when it sank in 1912 they can tell the even in details they, they can tell it in details telepathy so actually it is i think it is slightly linked with remote being or clairvoyance also uh, in remote being also you can see across space and time so you can actually see anything in the past also just uh, you need an need a target clairvoyance clairvoyance refers to the ability to see objects or events that are happening 
to someone else. Similar to telepathy, clairvoyance refers to the ability to gain knowledge about a person, event or thing without sensory input. That's very beautiful. Though typically thought to be strongest during meditation, many psychics can get information about the past, present, and future in a variety of environments. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, for me, it's not necessary to be in a meditative state every time. Actually, I got information every time and any time. The thing is that to keep myself grounded. I don't loiter around this world every time. I choose a particular time. So it is good actually. Otherwise your day-to-day -day life uh, would be hampered. Anytime if you see past, present, future. Anytime if you uh, remote view the whole universe, you know, that's little problematic because we have other works. So that is why I... Consciously choose a particular time to get information from the universe mother Gaya's. But other than that, I don't keep myself any time busy with extracting the pure divine information. So clear audience, it's hearing, extra hear, hearing. So clear means actually clear. Clear audience refers the ability to hear objects or events that are that are happening to someone else without any other additional sensory information like clairvoyance clairaudience is thought to be strongest during meditation however many clairaudience can um, obtain information in a variety of environments like me Actually, sometimes I feel I have all the clairs. Sometimes I feel that. Because sometimes the things are so, you know, clear, scary. Clear sentence. Clear sentence refers to the ability to perceive a feeling throughout the whole body without any stimulation related to the feeling or information. Some people with its ability may also be considered clear empaths as they can physically tune into other people's places or animals emotional experiences this is considered a type of telepathy that allows emotions to be felt this comes from one's ability to tune into the vibration and feel the aura this is very you know very beautiful but at the same time very I feel this is very disturbing kind of a, you know, clear cause uh, what happens, you know, you are happy, you don't ha have any problem and suddenly uh, you are sick, suddenly you are sad, you won't be understood, you won't be able to understand what's happening with you, what, why uh, everything is so super fine physically, mentally, emotionally, morally, spiritually, you are just boom but why you are sad suddenly within a fraction of a second that is actually happens whenever you absorb some of those emotions or feelings that is mr clear sentence so it happens to me also happens with me also sometimes i feel it annoying see if you are sad that if you are absorbing someone's uh, joyful feeling then it's good but if you are happy but you are uh, absorbing someone's uh, sad feelings then this is i don't think is good but anyway good or bad we shouldn't judge it this is a esp so let it accept us that way understand so after knowing these things that sometimes being happy also after being, despite of being happy also, uh, you can absorb other emotions, other people's emotions and feelings. Uh, knowing this much also can help you because you are aware now. You know the trick, what is happening to you. That's called what is super consciousness is. So the time you are get aware, you are saved. You can at least 
tell to yourself that okay it's happening due to that what is median mediumship actually uh, lastly i have getting guidance that i should uh, opt to or i should practice mediumship but actually i'm not very interested because mm, it has many complications but anyway mediumship refers to the ability to communicate with the dead by channeling their spirit most mediums use a variety of types of esp including clairvoyance and clairaudience to obtain their information that is almost like okay but uh, allowing your own body to channel see we can guarantee uh, what is the vibration of any other person's energy right so it, i think it's risky but anyway accept it as it is clear alliance or alliance a secondary form of esp okay it's secondary form of esp clear alliance refers to the psychic ability to smell while all humans have the ability to smell this type of esp refers to aromas what are not detected by everyone else it is thought that these aromas are projected by spirits to make you remember something special so that you can get triggered and you can get the exact exact information that they are trying to convey to you clear gustens another secondary form of in espc clear alliance or alliance or clear gustens are secondary types of esp these are people made you know, people made uh, discriminations or people made list or divisions so don't go with that i'm just discussing as she uh, written this article elisa monro and she has written it in a very good way thank you elisa monro another secondary form of esp clear gustens refers to the ability to taste while all humans have the ability to taste this type of esp refers to the ability to taste without putting anything in the mouth as i already told you all it is thought that those who have this ability ability can perceive the essence of a particular substance from the spiritual realms through taste like what is the taste of nectar what is the taste of elixir oh so what to do if you suspect you have extra sensory perception i think you should do party you should be happy because it's a natural gift and uh, all the human beings more or less are having this esps problem is that someone a thing is that someone has discovered and uh, just uh, letting them uh, stay in a mundane way uh, not skilling them someone uh, some persons are in that category who hasn't discovered this fact at all that they are having some esp and some persons are like me who are trying to skill it every time every moment every time they get an opportunity so it is thought that everyone has the ability to use esp in some shape or form because we can all pick up on various energies that exist for many of us however we are unaware of how to develop those psychic powers there are many ways to develop and improve your psychic abilities but you must be willing to practice and believe it can be done testing is available for many of the most common esps abilities if you suspect your abilities go beyond predicting the next song on the radio <laughs> yeah so who is elisa monro i am giving credit of the source uh, resource to elisa because uh, she has written no elisa monro is a self proclaimed psychic junkie with over 10 years of experience in the world of psychic tarot and spirituality her goal is to help people find happiness through spiritual enlightenment and self discovery she is like me so thank you melissa so this is today's video i am going to make another video in hindi uh, the same subject so thank you i will put this uh, link in my description box so you can personally go uh, visit this website and uh, read it cause uh, there are other links also you can you know Uh, there there are other semi links also that you can 
explore later. So thank you very much. Stay, stay tuned to my channel and I will be uploading one more video on remote viewing. Actually, I got some very special um, experimentational results just last night. So I will discuss, discuss everything with you. Thank you. See you soon.